Guys, I just found a time traveling machine to Brookhaven a thousand years from now, and it is insane. So make sure you turn on the bell notification and subscribe before we start so I can show you new hacks and new concepts in the future. Let's go! Number one, time traveling. So first, we have to go to the city center. Now, all you're gonna do is you have to turn small first before we start time traveling. So be small, just like me. Don't worry, later you'll go back to your normal size once you time travel. And do you see this water fountain over here? Okay, this is what we're gonna do. So all we're gonna do is stick to the edge of the water fountain. And you see that I'm floating and kind of like swimming on the floor, even though there's no water here. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna point upwards and then we're gonna be teleported into this new place and you're gonna hear a pop, which is when we travel. Ready? You ready? All right, let's go. Let's point upwards, one, two, three. Oh my gosh, here we are. We just time traveled into the future a thousand years from now. Oh my gosh, do you guys see this place? Whoa, this is the new map. And apparently this is what it's gonna be like a thousand years from now. And look, everywhere is completely flooded. You know how sometimes where Brookhaven have these like occasional floods that are very gross and disgusting and covered in brown stuff? Yeah, this is what it looks like after that. As you can see, we can see, see the floors underneath the water and everything and everything still seems the same with the houses and all the other stuff. But everything is basically above water right now. So if you're living here in the future, here are some tips you need to know to tell your grandchildren when you go back. Number two, breathing underwater. So people a thousand years from now are able to start breathing underwater and also above water. I don't know what type of animals we have become, but through human evolution, this is definitely something that might happen in the future. As you can see, there is much less civilization and you barely see anyone around, which can be kind of creepy, even though everything is staying the same, such as the city center and the Christmas tree, Brookhaven streets, even the police station and even the hospitals. Plus, our body has been designed so different right now when you stop swimming, your body will naturally float all the way to the top. We kind of look like frogs now, don't we? But this is kind of cool, but kind of creepy at the same time. You can say that our vision has probably been reduced by a thousand times. But once in a while, you would see a friend or two. And they're probably usually the same people because everyone else has probably passed away or they weren't able to survive all the way until the end. Legend says that once in a while, you might see scary demons at night if you swim underwater. But it's kind of airy to see that everything has stayed exactly the same. Number three, no vehicle. Unfortunately, none of the cars in Brookhaven work anymore. Therefore, the only form of traveling is by swimming. That's why in the future, people will have stronger upper bodies and they will be able to live up to 1,000 years old. Just like the truck over here, none of the vehicles works anymore. Number four, haunted Christmas. The only time the city dries up from being flooded is during Christmas. And this only happens once every year. We're not sure why this happens. And also the sky will start turning red, but no one really has an explanation of why this happens only on Christmas. Legend says it's because the flood started on Christmas. So that's why everything in the city is left with Christmas decorations. And oddly enough, you'll see monsters roaming the city, such as Mario being dead and like creepy slenders with their weird outfits and also dead armies and troops that were trying to fight during this war. We're not really sure why this happens as from the history books. No one has ever said this happened ever before. But it is something to watch out for and during this time everyone is locked in their homes or whatever shelter they can, they can find because there's not many houses left in Brookhaven you see. Due to the flood, that is, once every five years during Christmas, a big monster will appear in Brookhaven and it's up to the Brookhaven candidates to donate a sacrifice up to him for him to leave or else everybody would die. It's really harsh and sad really but people don't really have a choice because no one can defeat him. The Brookhaven city will sacrifice one of the most evil candidates. And then this is what would happen. He will start chasing that person across town, but that person will try to run away and escape. But if that person gets caught like this, then that's the end of them. 
and they no longer exist. Number five, the only home left. As time goes by, all the other houses will be flooded. All the leftover buildings will fade in the water and the sun will disappear. The only house that will be left in the whole of Brookhaven is this one, the yacht house, before it's taken away. And this is the house where the rest of us and the remaining survivors will live in. We will eat, sleep, survive, spend all of our time here in this last house, this last remaining house. Of course, most of us want to make the best out of it. Unfortunately, there's not much to do around here but to entertain each another and ourselves. Plus, the only type of food we would be able to eat would be fish. Occasionally, we will each take turns catching fish and some of us will cook for the family as we call them, the remaining survivors. But I often wonder to myself, how long will we last here for? Are there other survivors out there? Could the rest of the world in Roblox be the same as well? Do they each have their own house left? Maybe there are other survivors out there just like us, all sharing a house together. But how would we know? The helicopter on top of our house doesn't even work. And if there really are other people out there, how would we be able to contact them? Or are we the only ones left alive? Number six, a new human race. In another few years time, Brookhaven people have started to make their own ships to travel and to search for others. Of course, as time went by, we started to become smarter as we studied by ourselves, finding new ways and opportunities to search for a way out of this hellhole. So we created ships and we created cruises to be able to go through the world of Roblox and to find other people out there. And now, people all over Roblox from Bloxburg, Adopt Me, Meep City, and the rest have all come together. Has civilization finally been saved? Like my god had told me years ago, their cities have been flooded as well. And here, we've all traveled to this new place, this new island, a new discovery. This is more than just an opportunity. Is this a chance for us to share each other's ideas and cultures, learn about their pets, their cultures, their designs, and create something new on this island? What do you guys think? Let us know what this new world and human race would be called and maybe it might just happen. Brookhaven may be gone for now, but there is always still a new Brookhaven and a new Roblox. And that's it for today, guys. If you want part two or for us to make another concept, give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 10,000 likes. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell notification and share this video and leave a comment. Till then, we'll see you next time. Peace out! Don't forget to check out our other channels for more roleplay and comedy content.